Jerry! What is this? I finally get you off a foam roller and you're getting all of this. What is this thing? What do you do with it? How's it? I'm not, I'm not even gonna throw it away because it looks like it costs a lot of money. I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna set this over here. If your shoulders and your traps and your pecs and everything and your neck's always getting really, really tight, what you need to focus on is quality of movement, first of all. So what Jenny's gonna do is she's gonna hop down in the all fours position and she's gonna see if she can nice and smoothly make shoulders, she makes shoulders, make circles in a backwards direction, nice and smoothly, without it feeling like clumpity, clumpity, clump, okay? If it feels like that, what you need to do is practice it for a long period of time and over time that will feel less and less. So 10 circles backwards and then 10 nice and slow and controlled circles forward. So you should actually see how much movement you can actually get from the shoulder blades here, okay? So that's what you wanna be working on first of all. And you can turn your head left and right in this position is quite a nice thing to do as well. Building strength and control of the shoulder blades, making sure your elbows aren't bending, okay? So you wanna do these circles in lots of different positions, okay? So Jenny's now gonna go to the gymnastics rings. She's gonna grab on. She's going to lean herself back and she's gonna try and do the exact same thing. Make those little circles without bending at the elbow. 10 times backwards, then 10 times forwards. And again, you can turn your head left and right. And the better you get at this as well, you can start to walk your entire self out and that makes it a little bit more challenging. So you're building strength here, you're building stability here as well, okay? So especially for the likes of something like an overhead carry, when your shoulders are going mad like that, it's trying to resist movement. The better you get at controlling the movement, the better your stability will actually be, okay? So the last one is going to be, if Jenny hops herself up to a pull-up bar, you do the exact same thing, 10 circles backwards, 10 circles forwards. Make it as nice and as smooth as you can. If you find this too challenging at the start, find a way that you can still keep your feet on the ground just to give yourself a little bit of range, especially if you're not getting very high. And again, if it feels clunkety, clunkety, clunk, keep with it, keep practicing it, it will get better over time. Use this at the end of your sessions. Do it as regularly as you can, even the ones that you can do at home every day. You can walk on them every day. You can't do enough of this stuff until it feels almost too easy for you and it feels really, really smooth. And then you're probably gonna find that you don't run into as much shoulder and trap tightness. Other things to look at as well is your overall posture and your thoracic extension. If your shoulders are stuck like this all of the time, there's no amount of rubbing or rolling or weird whatever them things are you will ever do that will make your shoulders feel better. Think posture first, good shoulder blade control, good scapular control, and then your shoulders will feel awesome. Okay, Jenny? Thank you.